The national debt has reached a boiling point. I'm just kidding. That happened a long time ago. It's just that no one seems to care. Well, if you could have an honest conversation with the Federal Reserve, what would that look like? We'll find out in this latest message from the Debt Clock people as we explore. Love these secret messages. There are underlying themes that tend to reemerge through the course of these cartoons that they provide, these graphics, these secret messages from the debt clock. I've been following since the very beginning. In fact, not the very, very beginning, but I have captured the, the, the first couple and uh, have redone those. And now we are here to look at the latest message the debt clock people here. We're going to go ahead and keep this zoomed in because this is quite an interesting one indeed. A lot of symbolism here and there's still an unusual anomaly here. I want to try to get uh, an idea from you what you think it means. You know as we go through and look at all these numbers the greens are the ones of the money coming in not nearly as much for all the expenditures that are going out. Not only uh, in the federal level, but also local and state debt as well, too. It's problematic. States must balance their budget. And you know what that means? They're getting money from the feds, which means they're getting money from you. So let's open this thing up and see what we've got here. Uh, the title of this is Fed Scam, the United States uh, Federal Reserve System here. It begins with a conversation from two individuals and uh, the one on the left is going to be the, uh, the 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 person we are familiar with. In fact, I'll scroll down and show you a very brief glimpse. You know the characters. We've talked about them before. We'll briefly cover some of the imagery, but there's some new stuff there we're going to look at. And then we have the Federal Reserve as represented by Chairman Powell. So let's go over here and see what we've got here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more and see what this is telling us here. We've got Fed scam, it says. And by the way, this thing ex uh, expands out, but there's no, the background is pure gray, which means it's, it's a grim existence, the kind of what we've got. And I think that's what that represents, that the, the current system under the Federal Reserve, where these notes here, which are literally debt instruments, it says so right on the bill. It says, this note is legal tender for all debts, public and private. And it says here that, in the, in the first question, it says, how was it that you were able to keep the Fed pyramid scheme going for so many years? Uh, you know, when it's good you ask that question, it's kind of a, a pretty uh, accusatory type of question. But hey, you know what? Chairman Jerome Powell, being honest, he says, we had a fourfold strategy. Money buys you many things. And he goes on to say, first, we created a panic to convince the public that a new system of banking was needed. And I would love to study that history a little bit more. We can see here, 1910, we've got uh, Wilson there um, as part of all of this. He, he was the president at the time that the Federal Reserve Act was unfolding. He was part of it all, for sure. And we see the a uh, little bit of problems there, New York Stock Exchange and turmoil. And so you create this panic to convince the public that this system was needed. Uh, then we paid off the politicians. That's right, you pay them off, and the money that's existed there, and you can see there's an example of these notes here where, where they were paid off. Because they don't care. Once they get their riches, they're good to go, right? Next, we co-opted the press. That leaves the one thing we're most proud of. And I'm going to stop right there because co-opting the press, is that not what is happening now? Except I think in reality... It is the press that is just as much of a power broker as the politicians. And all with the head of the snake being the education system in this country. That is where it has all started. In fact, that dates back to the 70s, maybe even earlier. Uh, in fact, with the advent of the uh, National, Endow National Education Association, the Department of Education, in 1979, that just bolstered in place an already uh, you know, corrupt, I think, education system in this country. And it has only gotten worse. And a lot of the politicians that are leading us today are a product of that system. 
He said, they control it all. And I think that the head of the snake really is the education system. The first thing we got to do is get rid of the Department of Education. It would be a good first step, but there's so much more that should be done. But nonetheless, that's a big deal. And the press is a big deal, obviously. So now, the most thing that they're most proud of, and then the... Uh, then they, they, the retort back from this gentleman here is turning a proud and prosperous nation upside down in your artificial boom and bust cycles. That's the guess. But no, that is not it. It's the fact that we were able to convince the world that unsustainable Ponzi scheme bonds were actually assets. That's right. These bonds and notes you know, were actually assets, and now the Federal Reserve itself are buying those very same bonds to prop up the market. They propped up the stock market. I think that's one of the reasons why the stock market is so high today. It's crazy, and it's turned the uh, the country upside down. Um, so we can see here that what. Let's first look at um, uh, Jerome Powell here sitting again on top of these bonds. A lot of the same types of things. He's uh, these these notes here and bonds paying off the politicians. We can see there, and we have Jerome Powell with his thought process that we've turned the country upside down, and they're actually proud of it. In the background, you see the yellow brick road. Yes, indeed, as seen in the um, uh, in the movie Wizard of Oz. And that believes that with the silver slippers originally, now ruby slippers. And was a proponent of the bimetallic standard, the gold and silver standard. But nonetheless, the yellow brick road leads to the Emerald City. So that's what that is there in the background. And we can see again, this is signed, I think, Thomas X again there. And we have a familiar here. Uh, presumably the mask represents anonymity for transactions that, you know, you're not being tracked. And maybe that's what that means. We have the pineal gland, the third eye. Of a member, several members of the community posted comments in previous when I asked questions about this. I thought that that's what that meant, and I believe that's right. And again, we have the, the debt-free currency here, which is on his mind, as well as a gold and silver standard backing for the debt-free currency. I've gone over that note in previous iterations in more detail if you want to check that out. Although this is the second time we have seen this symbol here. And I'm still not sure if you have any ideas that looks like a T, but I don't know. Some sort of symbol, and I don't know what exactly that means. Is that sort of representative of a type of a cryptocurrency that's backed by silver and gold? Um, I don't know. I don't know exactly what that means. It almost looks like kind of a Bitcoin, but it's got this strange, weird T type symbol. Although... It also kind of looks like a cross as well, but I really can't make any sense of it. Don't know what that means. If anybody knows, uh, post it in the comment section below about what this little coin or symbol could potentially mean here. Um, and we look down here for the first time. Uh, well, first, before we get into what's in his hand here, we can see, again, he's holding the shirt, the shirt there, EXO. I've heard people describe, I forget what some pe some people said that, that what that means, outside of the system, man. Out EXO, meaning outside of, outside of the uh, Federal Reserve System. We are independent uh, with uh, gold and silver transactions that are totally private and independent. And so there's that. But what is he standing on here? We have something new here, although... Because we're zoomed in as far as we can go, uh, we can't. It's hard to really make this out, other than it says it looks like some Latin phrase, some uh, alt, uh, atismo servant salutorius, salutorius, which I think is Greek, and I think that was a saying that was somewhere else as well on one of these, but I forgot what it meant. I think that is Latin, if I'm not mistaken. But that is uh, maybe it's under the servant of of God, uh, and that was what uh, maybe was with the Christopher Columbus one. I can't remember if memory serves, but I think that's what that means. Um, and here is the United States again, and with the sky in the background, the heavens is what he's standing on there. But he's holding a golden key here that is shimmering in the light. Uh, the golden key, uh, and maybe the golden key is uh, the key to knowledge. Uh, and an un understanding and enlightenment, true enlightenment, which is from which the founding fathers 
uh, created this country. You know, Thomas Jefferson was uh, what a big student of the Enlightenment age, and that very well could be what that's about. So there is your, uh, my interpretation, rather, of the secret of the debt clock conversation here, an honest conversation where, where he reveals all the Federal Reserve Chair. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section down below. I do these videos um, every time they release a new secret message. I have a whole playlist of them if you want to check out some of the earlier ones in case you've missed them. I, these videos do not get nearly as many views, but I'm hoping that it will pick up and that more and more people will be aware of them as these messages come out. Sign up and other people have mentioned that there are other channels who've done sections and parts of these. Uh, but uh, I don't think they go quite as in-depth uh, to, to them as I have and as consistently. So uh, so there you go. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch and to encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.